Hello and a very warm welcome back to Hughes Nursery and it is actually a warm day for once, the sun is shining and before in my channel I've been asked if you can grow food in plastic bottles so I decided to do a research and see, see if you could or couldn't and it's quite interesting because there are certain plastics which you can grow food in um, and these are usually the ones where you buy food in such as containers. However, there are recommended plastics that you shouldn't grow in because these could potentially leach toxins and chemicals into the soil and then your plants can absorb these. Now, if you want to see that video, there'll be a link in this video's description. And since then, I've been asked whether you can grow food in tyres and it's quite an interesting question. We've been using tyres to grow many uh, things such as last time we used them to recently grow ochre or New Zealand yam. So I decided to do a bit of research into this and it turns out the answer is a bit more complicated and not actually definitive as growing food in plastic bottles. For us in West Wales, growing in tyres has seemed to make sense because being a darker colour, it absorbs a lot more heat, which helps with growing more kind of tropical things compared to what we can grow in our cooler climate. Now, the main worries about tyres is that they can leach harmful chemicals into the soil and potentially absorb by the plant. So things such as uh, polycylic aromatic hydrocarbons, which are basically toxins and chemicals, these are potential problems and risks that come with growing food from tyres. So the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation said that when looking at the leaching of these chemicals, in all cases they weren't leached from whole tyres, only from partially burned ones. This now brings in the issue of sunlight gradually breaking down the tyres just as it would with plastic. And yes, this is possible, however it's a very long process and in cooler climates, even longer for the tyres to break down. So most studies, such as the one mentioned earlier, feel that whole tyres don't leach chemicals, however the lengths of the tests were unknown. People are always going to have their own opinions, just like with plastic, whether you should grow food in tyres. And for me personally, I'm going to continue doing it as long as I place it in shady areas. Because to me personally, I feel it doesn't um, pose a big enough threat. Now, at the end of the day, if you buy non-organic food which just has chemicals sprayed over it, chances are it's actually going to be more healthy to grow food that's been organically grown but grown in tyres and buying food that isn't organic. So to answer the question whether you can grow food in tyres, unfortunately I, I can't make it conclusive but it's all down to personal preference. Now we all appreciate that tyres contain potentially harmful chemicals and if you want to be safe and take no risks then just don't grow in tyres. There are plenty of other options to grow vegetables in such as raised beds, wooden box planters, uh, containers and lazy beds. But if you do want to grow in tyres and you live in a hot climate then something that you should consider is to actually paint your tyres white because another problem with growing your tyres is that in hot hotter climates they actually absorb too much heat and can bake the soil and kill the plants growing within them so simply paint them white and that should be fine so take the choice at your own risk and i would love to know your opinions down in the comment section below so thank you very much for watching this video i hope it has helped in any way and if you do require any other questions answering then please let me know uh, just before you go I want to let you know about something new that I'm doing and I'm actually creating a newsletter so you can keep up to date with my YouTube videos and also a podcast that I'm starting and I'll mention it in a bit more detail in a later video but this podcast is basically 10 to 15 minute long episodes just talking about gardening so you can learn when you're growing food either in the garden, even when you're traveling to work. So if you are interested in that and want to sign up, then simply go down into the video description and you'll see the sign up link there. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon in another video. Goodbye.